Welcome to Prepper Nation. It is really, really late at night. I'll explain why I'm filming so late. I feel like a vampire, son. So let me let me uh, kick that out one more time. Welcome to Prepper Nation, son. <laughs> I am John. Thank you. Yes, you. The one tuning in, the one listening. Thank you very much for doing that. And also hitting subscribe and thumbs up. Um, so let me just say this week, at some point, Thursday or Friday, it's looking like one of those two days, we're going to have a full-blown live stream here at Prepper Nation in the morning on YouTube. Uh, so I'm looking really forward to that, y'all. Here's why I'm up so late tonight. You just never know when it's going to hit the fan. You can never predict when something is going to happen. I got to tell y'all, and, and many of you are living through the same thing right now. If you're uh, on the east and southeast, this whole thing. So school doesn't start here until Thursday in Surrey County, but teachers have already went back. They're getting their rooms ready and stuff. And my wife got a call. They were told to evacuate today because of severe weather. I mean, that sounds probably worse than it actually was, but they got a call from the school board saying we're going to shut them all down, get home as soon as possible. We don't know when this, uh, you know, this weather system is going to start. So the wife had to come straight home. Uh, even now until I think it's around nine o'clock tomorrow morning, we're under a wind, extreme wind, hail and a uh, tornado watch. Not a warning, but an actual watch, which is really hard to do, by the way, when it's pitch black outside. I'm just saying. So we're under a severe weather advisory. I'm up keeping tabs on things and and trying to monitor things. But there are already a million plus customers um, across 11 states without power. Now, we, we still have power. Obviously, I'm filming this. I'm going to try and upload it, uh, you know, before tomorrow morning. And again, you never know when something like this is going to happen. Here in the prepping community, sure, we talk about a lot, a variety of stuff, right? Anywhere from the C-19 to martial law to famine we talk about war we talk about nukes and rightfully so all of that stuff is really important even as of late aliens and invasions and things like this but severe weather uh weather happens it happens to pretty much everybody the weather is going to look different depending on the region that you live in for some people it's going to be more focused on blizzards or hurricanes or extreme heat and in this case, uh, thunderstorms. But let me tell you something. It feels good to be prepared. I'm just going to say that because my wife, it's interesting. She was able to come straight home. Many of her coworkers, and it wasn't just schools let out. A lot of, of uh, factories, a lot of businesses were shutting down early, restaurants and things, letting people go home. And most of those people went directly and got in the back of huge gas lines. We were seeing a lot of people at the gas pumps, uh, you know, this afternoon, grocery stores were getting just rocked and, you know, and that's typical for any, you know, anytime you're under a weather advisory, stuff like that happens, the unprepared, they go out, they, they go into some kind of panic mode. I don't really know what you would call it, but it feels good to be prepared for this. It felt good knowing my wife could come straight home and, uh, you know, and we're here charging things after she gets home. We're plugging in cell phones. We're plugging in this. We're getting, uh, you know, we have ammo cans that have candles and stuff in them. We're ready. We've got the Jenny out. We've got uh, an emergency radio out. We've got Kim lights out. We're ready to go. We're already prepared. We already have gasoline. Not enough for an alien invasion. But we have enough for a little while, should the power go out here at the Ponderosa. Now, hopefully it doesn't, but prepping just makes life easier, doesn't it? I mean, really and truly, I'm not the first person here that has went through, you know, a severe storm watch slash warning. I mean, again, many of you are going through this one with me right now, probably if you're in this region of the country, but it just makes life easier. Not to have to rush around, not to have to panic. Um, and it makes you realize, you know, the hard work, 
the money, the time that you invest into prepping pays off. Anytime there's an SHTF and you're ready to go, it's worth it. I, I That's the only way I know how to put it. It's worth it. And some people that watch prepping videos on YouTube, um, maybe they're not prepping. Maybe they're just, you know, in different communities because they like it. it happens. Some people are in this community and other communities. Now, I know most of you are prepared, but some people are just here for the conversation to, to chat back and forth with people they've met in the live chat you know, to listen to the content creator. Why over here? I don't know. I've never understood it, but it happens. Y'all know I do the retro games. I don't collect for every single console, but I watch content on every single console. It is what it is. So it's entertaining to me. But with the prepping, if you're one of those people, I would highly encourage you to get into it. You know, bare minimum, just jump in and, and get a little extra stuff. This doesn't mean you have to go off of the cliff or off the deep end and again, start spending 15 hours a day on prepping $15,000 a month on prepping. You don't have to do that. Okay. You can do that totally up to you, but you don't have to just invest a little time every day. Change the way you think a little bit, you know, as we're passing by today and we see the gas stations, that's what did it for me. I'm used to the grocery stores and things because of snowstorms that we have during the winter. Anytime any sort of weather's coming, people blitz the grocery store. And I'm sure it's that way across the United States, but the gas lines, you know, when we were passing gas stations and you're seeing eight and nine people, which is strange here, backed up at every single pump. And you know those people are going to be there 30 minutes or so in the back of the line. Now, that may sound like a dream to some people out there. I don't know. But here, again, it's very strange. Normally, you can just pull up to a pump. There's nobody there. There's one person there in front of you, maybe. But I digress. Being able to drive by and not have to be in that line. Let me... You know, it, it let me know there are really two groups of thought, two schools of thought when it comes to SHTF, because guess what, non-preppers, if you're out there, you're going to experience it hitting the fan, too. I'm looking at, at the, uh, you know, the article from weather.com. I'm seeing over a million people without uh, electricity right now throughout 11 states. And if I were a gambling man, I would say not all of those one million plus are preppers. In fact, most of them probably aren't prepared to be sitting in the dark for a little while. Tomorrow, it's probably going to be very hot again. It's been hot for the past several days here. What are those folks going to do if they're not prepared? They're just going to sit at home and sweat to death. You know what I'm saying? So there are really two groups of thought. And, and it drives it home when you see it in real time, when you see people panicking. And I don't understand why people would not go ahead and prepare at least a little bit. This really, since I started prepping, this has not made sense to me. Why do people wait until the last second? To give you an analogy, I know it's a weird one, but, um, and a lot of stuff has moved digital now, but when you think about Christmas shopping, if you have kids, you want to start early and you want to do it a little bit at a time. That way your kids have stuff to open on Christmas morning. And some people do that. They'll set a little money aside every month and they'll just get what they can get. Other people wait until three days before or Black Friday maybe, and they just blitz and they fight against the mob and they're diving on pallets of stuff. And it's ridiculous. Why would people wait until the last minute? Makes no sense to me. So I'm going to encourage you this morning, if you're one of those people, I'm not trying to shame you. I'm not bashing you this morning. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or anything like that. Um, I'm just saying, be a little forward thinking. Understand, if, if you're in the middle of this storm, there's eventually going to be another storm. So if you are that person that gets caught with your pants down, proverbially speaking here, son, <laughs> don't be that person next time. Learn from your mistakes. Fix it. Become the person that prepares just a little bit in advance. 
Um, I should be, I'm, I'm expecting to be in the live chat in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and schedule this puppy. If I'm not in the live chat, you folks know why I'll be without power, but I should be there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but until next time, everyone that's in the path of this stuff, please stay safe. Go ahead and get your preps out, your, your lights out preps as we call them, or your grid down preps. Just go ahead and move them to a corner somewhere. You probably already have. And just be prepared. Be ready to go. Just in case. This is literally why we prep. Folks, this is John with Prepper Nation. Thank you very much for being here this morning. God bless y'all. Until tomorrow morning, this is John.